what's up, world? Oh, I recognize these. Really? Yo, what's up, Kia? What's <laughs> up? I remember this one. Let me see if I can make her proud. <laughs> be able to get right here very well because it's puckered yeah better when they're off mm -hmm. but you got them good and dirty man <laughs> oh, i'm sure she's pissed off looking at that right now <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. what up kia she's like what the heck did you do to my work man <laughs> Let's just say I really like these boots. Yeah. <laughs> well, you a boot man. I don't see you in nothing but boots. <laughs> Except when you come to kick my ass in uh, some shuffleboard, then you'll be wearing some. You must. They must be your lucky sneakers or some kind of. Maybe. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna step on your toes from now on when you show up at shuffleboard table, man. All right. Uh huh. <laughs> we gonna fix that. No advantages over me. Yeah. Beginner's luck and everything. Got James laughing at me. <laughs> just let me know. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. I'm trying to get my. I just called him up, told him it ended in a tie score last time. I still didn't get my shit back. He just <laughs> giggling. He just laughing. Now you know how it feels when I play you. <laughs> what? Thank you very much. That might work a little bit better back there. At least we can clean it. Yeah. Get that cleaned out of there. Let's go here while we got it. mine today been raining lately mm -hmm. had to put my brown moccasin ones away the slip-ons yeah call them my slippers mm, yeah you know we had to put those away raining in Spokane yeah putting some uh, I got the open up in these and then I let them sit I hit them with the heat gun after I let them sit overnight mm -hmm. and they're completely dry not dried out but they're dry um, but I got like there's a little bitty issue right here where it's still trying to dry out mm -hmm. you can almost see that in there so I'm gonna hit them again with the open off leave it sit overnight mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna come back overnight and then I'm gonna come back and uh, do my thing on there I'm gonna get some new spray bottles, man. Let's rinse that saddle soap. Gum back there, bro. Huh? Huh? Oh, maybe I shouldn't even said that in the video. Now she's like, what? <laughs> what you been doing to my work, man? <laughs> Just a little bit. I got you.
Voila, Wally. Nice. Yep, yep. I didn't even know that was back there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It can happen. It can happen. Yeah. Oh, nothing you can't fix. Ah, oh, well, you know. Sure. <laughs> I'm the guy we all know and like. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey. Okay, so excuse me one sec. Let me get my apron on. Yeah. Let's get to it. I had somebody watch me put my apron on. I was tying it. Oh. They're like, how did you do that like that? <laughs> I'm like, what? You tied that so easy behind your back. You can't see. How do you do that? <laughs> right, so I untied it, and I did it again. I said, like that. <laughs> She's like, that's amazing. I don't think it's any different than, I guess, a lady just, you know, fixing her hair. Oh, hair no, and man, you know, we all, we have this, it's just funny. Humans are funny like that. Yeah. You know, we have this tendency to make things difficult that aren't difficult. Mm -hmm. It's just the way you look at stuff sometimes, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm like, so why are you making that complicated for yourself instead of trying to actually look at it and be like, Psh, I got this. <laughs> you know. Yeah. A lot of the time you take that attitude, it might surprise you yourself mm -hmm. instead of talking yourself out of it. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's what I want. up with the crease hmm. uh, I think that's been there. right here see how it indents oh kind of yeah sucks in right there mm. you don't have that over here mm. not this happened do you know I can't say honestly guess the character though <laughs> yeah cleft chin yeah manly boots got that thing in the middle right there you know yeah. I'm a man. <laughs> Ricardo Modeban. I am not a man's man. I am a manly man. <laughs> that used to crack me up, man. I am Ricardo Modeban. <laughs> used to go around saying, I am not a man's man. I am a man. <laughs> Where is that from? I can't even remember what movie he did that in. It was some comedy thing, you know. I, it sounds familiar to me. Now you got Antonio Banderas with that same kind of <laughs> mystique, machismo. Yeah. Mm. See, I like using them words, the world want to kick off the planet. Mm. Machismo. Then heard the uh, molly whopping here lately. I had, to, I had to laugh. I was like, oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Now molly whop that sucker. <laughs> you gonna get a molly whopping. Don't make me wallet molly whop you upside your dome, Jack, you know. <laughs> Some of them terms are really funny. They are. <laughs> Still, man, you know. Mm -hmm. Bamboozled, hoodwink, flim, flammed. <laughs> I still use that. I use that on my grandsons now. Because <laughs> you get that look. You know when a dog look at you and turn his head and be looking at you like, what yeah. the? My grandkids do that to grandpa now. Mm -hmm. They'll look at dad or mom though and be like, mm -hmm. is grandpa okay? You know? mm -hmm. They just be laughing.
Who was it? Wanted the track. Hmm. I can, I can, you know. Like we said, we might talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Try and make that happen for the guy. Okay, so I'll go ahead and brush some of this here. <laughs> color on there. Some of that product. They money, didn't I? Skip the commercial. <laughs> That's it. This we will not brush off. Mm. Conditioner. Uh -huh. Leave some color up there. Mm -hmm. Return of the mic, return of the mic, the one and only mic, once again, watch my flow, here I go. Gotta come to rock the show. <laughs> <laughs> when I sing my combat song I'm your shoeshine man <laughs> But I am your shoeshine man I'm your shoeshine man Yes I do 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 Return of the man Ever since you've been coming in here, all you do is laugh anymore, man. <laughs> That's I tried to tell you. Uh, I don't do nothing but have fun, man. Yeah. That's it. There ain't nothing else to do on this planet, man, unless you pissed off. What's the other thing you do? Duality, so you got the flip of the coin. No, I keep saying it's all on the same side. There ain't no flip of the coin. <laughs> all of it is on the one side. <laughs> all of it. You ain't trying to have fun, then you trying to have negativity. I only got one question. Why? <laughs> hey, boss lady. Yeah, baby, that feels good. Mm -hmm. How am I doing, kid? What's uh, up? What's up? I'll let you both back. He messed you up. I'm trying to fix it right back for you. <laughs> Stay down here with the wax. You keep your pants in on these boots? Um, you yeah, wear your pants down inside, yeah? Yeah, tucked in. Yeah, 
especially when it's pretty much cooler weather. You should wear them like this. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm glad it's here. I'm just tired of the summer, you know. Are you? Yeah. You know what? You're one of them. You you don't like that heat. I mean, I do to an extent. Uh huh. You know. To about 70. Once it gets past that, now it's annoying. I would say above 80. Above 80? Yeah. What do you do with it when it's above 80? Uh, See, me, once it hits that 90 degrees, that's water weather. Mm. 80, 80, you know, I'll go as low maybe as 85. But once you come up out that water mm -hmm. and that cool breeze, you still got a bit of a cool breeze in the 80. That hits you, man, and you'd yeah. be like, you yeah. know? Yeah. But I mean, for the most part, I'm just glad it falls here. <laughs> I like the fall weather, though. Oh, man. I'm kind of a four seasons guy. I like the rain. I do. Yeah, I like too. the rain. Me too. I can't, okay, I stayed in Portland for a while, mm -hmm. and I lived in Seattle with my sister for a while. Okay. And that can be depressing to have it every single day. The yeah. thing I hate about Seattle mm -hmm. is that once you get all that rain, that moisture, mm -hmm. they get a ton of slugs come out everywhere, all up and down your car, man, oh, and on your oh. on your front door. I didn't know that. And stuff. Yeah, certain areas, man, got a lot of mm. foliage. Oh, man. My sister used to live about a half hour walk from South Center Mall mm -hmm. and uh, where her house was on this hill there was a lot of plant and foliage and stuff back there man we come home one day yeah. slugs up on the car door on the on the door to the, the house you know I'm not touching that as a matter of fact you give me some salt or Better yet, a blowtorch. I'm gonna get this cat. I don't like that stuff. It's creepy. That's the stuff that creeps me out right there. You know, yeah. I don't like that natural type of stuff. Yeah. And I know it's nature and natural and everything. I don't like that. Yeah. That that's the creepy crawly. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, especially in the summer, we're just just, just a lot of bugs out. And yeah. Whenever you're driving out on the road. Yeah. Right now, I think they call them aphids. Mm. Them little bitty tiny flying things. Yeah. That are blue with the white wings and that. And there you can't get. Man, they just come out in the fall and in the spring. Mm. And they're everywhere. I think it's because of the blossoms. Okay. Down in Florida, we have uh, love bugs. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Yeah, they're just pretty much like two, they're pretty small, like, they're usually like two bugs that are like attached to each other and then they fly. And they're, they're pretty much useless. I don't know how they contribute to nature and yeah. all that, but... Stuck together, you say? Yeah. Them some nasty, dirty bugs. They need to find a room and get what's up, man. I'm not trying to watch you do all that. Yeah, gets up in your cars and stuff. Really? Yeah. Oh, annoying. not in my back seat. They it's, ain't. Yeah, it's more annoying than anything. Yeah. Really, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get them up there, right? Yeah. Scooch up in the chair. So yeah, there you go. A little bit more comfy. All right. Get that with the microfiber. Doing me, doing me. What up, what up, mama? How am I doing? Your boy had a messed up. I'm trying to fix him for you. That's right, that's right. I saw the video. You know, a lot of guys, uh, I should say a lot of people, because you can't really see nobody. A lot of people uh, commented on her voice, you know. I would have to say, girl like that, 
with that soft voice like that, and she can use her hands so good, that's a scary thing, man. That's, you know, <laughs> come home late and bust you in your eye with a closed fist. You think, yeah, it just because that little bitty Minnie Mouse voice coming out, you think, oh, she ain't, I ain't scared of man. She say, foul. It's all, is it? You going home to your mama. I'm not moving back in with my mother, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's all right. She that type of girl, you go around telling your friends you ran into a door. <laughs> yeah, no, you know you can't let that get out, man. She tiny and everything, she beat your ass. Man. You getting laughed at at the Domino's table. We can't have this, man. That's not mm -mm. Never met her. She just seemed to be kind of like that to me. <laughs> She's really sweet. You know, don't let the voice fool you, sucker. I will. <laughs> like one of them ghost cars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ghost car pull up to you all nice and quiet. You want to push on the gas. <laughs> and the dude just look over to you like, really, man? <laughs> Are you serious? And takes off. Leave your butt sitting right there at the light. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that, man. That's bugging me. Yeah. I can bring it in next week. Pro that I am, man. That's that's messing me up. Yeah, I can definitely bring these in next week. And okay. Be over here. You do got kind of a, you can see it now that you got some polish on it. Yeah. Okay, let's hit this a little bit. There we go. was thirsty, man. <laughs> Some people have a hard time brushing the top of a boot like this. Yeah. I tell them just stand back a little bit, give themselves a little bit of distance mm -hmm. so they can work. Yeah. And then another thing, some individuals like to sit down and try and do this. Mm -hmm. You really can't, man. Okay, you really, I mean, you can sit down if you want to, mm -hmm. but you see me when I'm actually even applying the polish and I switch hands, I'll move to the side of a shoe. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Yeah. Opposite side. So, because you do that, then it actually gives you more leverage. Yeah. It'll help. So I'm always moving around. That's the purpose of standing up, shiny shoes. Drag sitting down. Oh, yeah. Hard to do shine tricks sitting down. The guy got to sit. That's one thing. You got to sit. You got some problems with the hips or legs. or yeah. You know, I get it. I'm not saying that it's wrong. And I would never say to a fellow shoeshine man that, you know, time I was messing with the guy on YouTube about the rubber gloves. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, I never heard the last of that. Mm. And I was playing with him. Mm. You know. Mm -hmm. There are certain reasons why you might should wear a glove. Mm. I was at the uh, Ag Expo here in Spokane. I worked at oh, every okay. year. Mm -hmm. um, 
a young lady came in there, she's about 18, 19. <laughs> Sit up in the stand, want to get a shoe shine. Mm -hmm. Whole entire boot caked. Really? Can't even mm -hmm. see the boot itself, it's caked. Oh, okay. You're thinking that's mud. Mm -hmm. That wasn't that mud, man. Mm. Okay. So I go and I get the saddle soap and I start washing that off and now you're getting that smell too. Oh, yeah. And now it's like, oh shit. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and uh, uh, so after I toss the tool away, Mm -hmm. get some paper towels and I'm wiping this off I get my spray bottle and I'm just you know like this here I'm like well we're not going to try and do that with this other boot so I go mm -hmm. to the other boot and now I'm scraping it off dry oh yeah. there's a cloud man and the smell and the Ooh. odor it's it's worse that way Oh because wow. now it's airborne Ooh. and you're going to breathe that in man mm. so yeah it was anyway long story short mm -hmm. She comes back, uh, her sister mm -hmm. comes back the next year. Mm -hmm. I'm in the same exact location that I was the year before. They've switched me around since. Mm -hmm. Sister comes back, she says, uh, hands me a hundred dollar bill, mm -hmm. literally. Really? And she says, my sister was here last year. Now, these girls look like identical twins. Oh, okay, yeah. But one is one year older than the other. They oh. look like identical twins, though. Oh, it was crazy. Yeah. Hmm. She, say my, she says, uh, me and my dad are accustomed to getting ours done. Yeah. My sister came to the show last year. She wanted to get hers done for the first time. She didn't know hmm. what the protocol and stuff was. Okay, yeah. Give me $100. And she was like, we're so sorry. Because they must have oh, knew oh. how bad them boots were, man. Yeah. Just covered in, just caked in manure oh, and stuff. Bada bink, what you think? <laughs> Quite an improvement. Wow. Kill ya. I'll let you boy. <laughs> All right. That's good.